colors. And being the fashion experts that we are, we're gonna talk about all the red carpet looks we saw tonight. It's fashion. This is Dirty Laundry. Jennifer Lawrence, have you ever heard of this actress? Oh yeah, she looks like she's going to prom. Look at J-Lo. I like it, I love the metallic dress and I love the hair. What do you think of the choppy locks? Um, Actually, this is like perfect. I just feel like the the makeup and the hair is more Oscars than the dresses. Like this almost really? looks like Grammys to me a little bit. I like the dress, I don't I, know. I love it, I love it. I just, I don't know, I just love a good ball gown for the Oscars. Yeah. You know? I love this look, I think she looks so hot. It's basically what I wanted to look like in prom at prom in high school, but never achieved it. I remember it's, your prom pic, Erin. <laughs> I did not achieve it. She also has like a chain link fence vibe. Oh, do you see a lot of chain link fences? I live close to a prison. I love this dress. It looks like a disco ball, but in a really good way. I just love it when people wear metallics because it makes me feel like they're wearing metal, which makes me feel that they're half machine, which makes me feel that they're like the Terminator. That's a lot of thoughts to have about a dress. But logical. It's very Tin Man. It's very uh, Wizard of Oz Tin Man. Where is her heart? Honestly, she looks amazing, but this doesn't really look like an Oscars dress. This looks like a Grammys or an after party dress. I mean, I would sell my soul to wear that dress anywhere. Raise your standards. But like, <laughs> she's very disco ball fever. I love it. 1970s. You love this? You don't like it? I. I do not like this dress on her. What do you mean, why? I don't know, I don't think her hair matches the dress. Like, I think her hair is too much. I don't know if this is Dior. We know that she has a contract with Dior, but she reminds me of like Taylor Swift's snake ring. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> like if her snake ring was a dress, this is what it would look like? She's Taylor Swift's snake. She looks so beautiful. Ugh. I like the hair. It's just like tousled, it's like beach wave. It's as if you would go to the blow dry bar and be like, I want the Tahiti. <laughs> Just like <laughs> put some salt water in my yeah. hair, right? I think you would look really cute in that j -Lo outfit. Thank you, I would wear it. Great. I probably can't afford it. No, you can't. Details. Oh, oh. Margot Trabe. I like it, it looks like she's, you know, hashtag no makeup. Yeah, it's a very natural look. Margot Robbie looking like a snow princess. Yeah. Margot Robbie doesn't look like a human being. I've always said this about her, but she is in fact a human being. Is Fun she fact. getting married at the end of the carpet? Oh. Because she just looks like she is in her wedding vest. Like Margot Robbie is the human form of a swan. That purse is so cool because it's like a weapon. Is it like glass? I can't really see it that way. Well. I hope so. One of the hardest things about the Oscars is matching your hairstyle to your dress. I feel like a lot of people get like too prom with it, um, but I think her hair looks amazing. Like it's fresh out of the pool. Yeah, so elegant. She just like exudes elegance. Oh my god. Is that gosh. Sophia Carson? That's Sophia Carson at the Oscars. She kind of blends into the background, so I, it took a minute to see her, but. Um, she looks like a beautiful bird. There's, that's a lot of fabric. It does look like she kind of has wings flapping in the wings. Yeah, and you know, the aviary trend is huge this year, as we've discussed multiple times it's on awesome this show. The bird up. trend is huge. Anyway, she looks gorgeous. Sophia Carson is one of my favorites. Look uh, at this. Uh, hence I the love red. this. I know, I really, I was shocked. I feel like Sophia's so young, and it's just like so much elegance and such little age. I don't know why I love this so much. It feels so timeless to me. I think she looks like a classic beauty, like with that dark hair. And and the red, yeah. like it's just, I. she reminds me of like a Maybelline ad. Like uh -huh. this looks very editorial, this looks very magazine. But the truth about magazines is like, it takes a bajillion years to edit somebody and she just looks like Like flawless. airbrushed on. She looks airbrushed. Yeah. I mean, she does have like a team of experts and probably a chainsaw, but like and she just. like an actual just, airbrush foundation. Like. Absolutely, but she, she looks Photoshopped in real life. It's like a train cape. Thing. Like a fountain of billowing red fabric coming from her shoulders all the way down to the ground. I thought you were gonna like, start writing a poem. Right? <laughs> is it difficult to walk in? I mean, aren't they all? You're on a red carpet at the Oscars. None of this is easy, which is why I wear chancletas. <laughs> her hair is real slicked down. You know how we always talk about some people just have that celeb quality, like she they're does. so striking? She has got it. I just feel like her hair is so slicked mm -hmm. and everything looks so pretty. Like, I don't think there's one hair or piece of anything out of place. I mean, every eyebrow, every single eyebrow hair has a place. And she does have great eyebrows. She does. Oh, Emma Stone, what is happening? I'm, I'm all about this. This was not what I was expecting for an Oscars look, but I'm really into it. Yeah, it's weird, but I like it. Whoa, Emma, love ya, hate this, not a fan, nothing. No, mom hair, weird belt, why are you wearing pants? Are you wearing a shirt? I have a lot of things to say. Those little bunch up, that looks like when you when um, your your shirt gets caught on something and the, all the seams 
stitch up. I wear a lot of cheap clothing. <laughs> that happens to me a lot. I know, I know, that's the reaction I had, but look. Here's the thing, you can wear whatever you want when you're Emma Stone. I think it takes balls to walk into the Oscars. Yeah, it's definitely a gutsy move, but this is not an Oscars outfit. I know. I'm sorry, it's not. She looks pretty, but this is not an Oscars outfit. So there's a lot going on here. Um, None of it's good. There's something about it to me that's a little bit off, but I don't- A little. You hate it so Why much. Why are you trying to be so positive? Tell me how you really feel. Because I read this thing this morning on Pinterest. I was like, try not saying anything negative for an entire day and see how your life changes. So that's what I'm trying right now. And you know what the truth is? I love Krim Tear. I love the 90s. So she wins. That's a bold choice. It's, it's a bold choice. a decision that was made. I don't hate the whole idea of like, a blazer open without the shirt. Yeah. I really, this is my biggest problem with this right now. <laughs> Tell me. Red and pink together. Oh, do you I have issues? I've never been okay with it. For some reason, my brain's like, no, nope, don't match, doesn't match, can't do it. I disagree. I love color blocking. I'm so. You have so... a red and pink dress, actually. <laughs> I have a red and pink dress. Love the it so much. The only way this could be any worse for me, and not in, like, the outfit's fine, it's just the color, those two colors. If she had a hat on, add in some hat. orange and a hat. Well, her hair is kind of orange. That's true. That's probably why it's all just coming at me at once. Sersha Ronan! I don't even think that's how you say it. Sersha. Sersha. Sersha Ronan. Sersha. Love her. She's amazing. The dress. I What's with the Oscars and it's just like, let's add more fabric. Okay, so I think the Oscars are like the haute couture runway of Hollywood. Okay. And so you always see at the Oscars, like remember that dress Julia Roberts wore years and years ago that was like black and white and very bold? Yes, yes, yes. I feel like the Oscars is the place you do this and she's nominated and I think this makes sense. I guess I'm just most concerned for them walking. Uh, well, they have people for that. I think this color looks great on her. Um, it's very elegant. She went with the pastel pink. A lot of women wore nude and this color, and I think Sersha looks great. We're gonna be talking about this dress because yeah. it looks so unique and different than anything else on the carpet. Sersha nailed it, and the pink brings out her green eyes. And She's pastels so are also very in this year. And the bow looks like birds, and she was in Lady Bird. Oh my gosh, that went so deep. Right? Yes. I love it because she's the star of Lady Bird and that kind of looks like a flamingo inspired outfit. Okay, hold like, on. I'm like connecting into my divinity right now and my memory bank. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, Oscars, was it 2001? What's the happening? pink dress, do we remember that? This is basically a throwback to Gwyneth when she won the Oscars. What, do you have an index back there? What, do, I've never- It's actually never... the only fact I know. There's nothing else there. <laughs> it's the only, because I really go way back, like the one fact that I have. It. Finally, <laughs> got to throw it out. I'm into this. I think it's very hard to find the exact shade of um, pink on for shoes and a dress, unless they're a mm. set, but she found it, and I'm extremely impressed. Oh! Ooh. Yes, Gina Rodriguez doing the most. <sighs> Gina Rodriguez looking like freaking J-Lo. She looks gorgeous, always does, and she's always smiling. Exactly, she's not one of these people who's like, I'm too cool for school. No, no she's no. always looks like she's like, oh my gosh, I'm at the Oscars. She's cute. This dress is everything. The color is amazing on her. Her smile is probably the best thing that she's wearing. I love Gina Rodriguez and this dress is just stunning. I love this so mm -hmm. much. Uh, you know what I love is like, is nude dresses. It's, you know, it reminds me of like Toxic from Britney Spears. That old school, like you can't really Do tell I if ever. they're wearing anything. This is fabulous. She's just so naturally pretty. She's one of those people I don't think has to wear a lot of makeup. Yeah. Like literally she put her part of her hair down the middle, put it back in a ponytail and just put on this dress and she's ready to go. I think it's very rare in Hollywood to find that. She's okay, you wanted your ball gown. That's right. Here it is. I know, this is what I'm talking <laughs> about you guys. This is what I wanna see at the Oscars. I wanna see yes. a huge like flowing, gorgeous yes. princess. Like she belongs in a castle kind of ball gown. And this she is it. looks like a queen. I mean, I absolutely love the cleavage because it's sexy, but mm -hmm. we still got the ball gowness. And the fact that she put her hair up, like I said, not a lot of people can pull that off and she I just know. looks stunning. Adam Rippon looks like he's about to go to a spy mission after this award show. An interesting choice. I love it, I love it. I think Adam Rippon, I hope I'm saying his last name right. I think he nailed it. Oh my 
my gosh, Adam Rippon straight up zip line to the Oscars. He's wearing a harness. I, this feels inappropriate. <laughs> I like it. He probably has like a whip in his pocket. I love this. I, I like saw it. this, I loved it. Right, it's modern, it's uh, sassy. Is that, is that the word to describe this? I don't yeah. know. I really like the bow tie and mm -hmm. whatever it is that's under there. It's it like just, a harness. It takes my imagination elsewhere, but we don't need to get into that. I yeah. give him a 10. You know what? I like it. I, it's really weird, but I kind of am into it. This I, is very S and M to me. This is and or like Scottish. Like I want him to be eating like a fried egg on top of everything in a kilt. Like it's not doing it for me, but I do like it. I just think he's like a breakout star, and he's like breaking out into the Oscars, and he's like, here I am, and all my bondage greatness. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy is an Olympian figure skater. I feel like this is perfect. That suits his personality, yeah. but also like his accessories are on point too. Um, but I get, a, again, like kind of a sci-fi Met Gala yeah. vibe a little bit from this. So I'm all about it because it's 2018, you know, let's let's push some boundaries. He looks really hot and his lips are very kissable. Is that what I'm supposed Miriam, to talk about? Miriam, what is he wearing? I am a woman and I have hormones. <laughs> Sorry, the clothes you is great. Daniel Kaluuya, oh, what a breakout star. Yes. Black Panther, get out, he is amazing. Amazing. It is so hard for men to stand out, like you said, and I think he nailed it. The color is amazing. Daniel looks cozy. I like that he didn't go with the plain black suit and he mixed Same. it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think he himself is so attractive that he can kind of wear whatever he wants. I don't love this outfit. I don't like that like weird deep V. The star of Get Out has officially arrived on the carpet. He looks so fine. What do you think of that color? Because I've never seen that color on a suit before. I can get in to that color. I love velvet. I love velvet and I love a camel color. <laughs> I don't I don't think I love camel colored velvet. I love velvet. I know. Makes me want to hug him. I would probably keep a five foot barrier, but I would wave to him from afar and tell him that I loved his movie. <laughs> you usually just see black tuxes on the carpet. Boring! So when you add some color, and I love yes. that it's, it's like that, like what, like a camel brown? I'm into it. I, I think it makes, him pop, I think the outfit pops with that blazer. Like I've never seen gold velvet and that's what he's wearing right now and I like it because he came dressed as an Oscar. I kind of feel like the men this year at the Oscars were a little bit more daring than the women. Yeah, we like saw a lot of stripe on the pants. Yeah, we saw a lot of color when it came to suits um, and I really, I really appreciate that. Me too. Honestly, I really do. And I love this. I love everything about this. And even the bow is a little bit bigger than your like traditional tuxedo. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what makes it pop too. So yeah. I, I really like his look. Me too. Ooh! <laughs> Where That's how you do a cape? suit! That's how you do a suit. Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman! My hero, literally. Wakanda forever! Oh. Forever in this outfit. Love everything but the shoes. So I find it interesting that he plays a king of Wakanda in, in like Black Panther. The biggest movie right now. If right. you haven't seen it, go right. see it. Right. And he's like dressed like a king on the carpet for the Oscars. Yeah. This looks like he walked right off of Black Panther. Like he stole the wardrobe. You, I think you have to give that back. I like this a lot. Like the long coat, like the pattern. I, I think it looks great. He looks like he just came from outer space, but like a really sexy place. It does look space. like a very futuristic outfit. I like it. I think his outfit's amazing. The embellishment on his long blazer, he looks like a king. It, it, he does look like he just came in from Wakanda. He had that clear spaceship that landed and he yeah. just walked right on out and made a statement. I feel like when you're a dude on the red carpet, it's like, how do you compete with all the other tuxes and suits? And he went the route where I don't even compete with your freaking bow tie because I'm a king. Yeah. Like he wins. He just won. He's yeah. alone in this category. He could have just worn that jacket and still won. <gasps> oh, she. Oh, wow. I've always been a huge fan of Taraji. Um, this dress makes me a bigger fan. Where do we begin with this dress? There's just so much to comment on. Her pose is just the most Taraji thing I've ever seen. Okay, I like the sexiness of this dress. Lots of leg, lots of little peekaboo here and there. Um, I like the black. I mean, go classy. I think it's really hard to wear the color black and stand out, mm -hmm. but when you're Taraji P. Henson, you can wear anything and look incredible. And this look is just like, here I am, Taraji. I love this dress. I completely agree. And I wouldn't think this type of dress, just because it's a little more risque, I, I wouldn't think it would work for the Oscars, but somehow it does. Mm. I love that. I, I can't even tell if the sleeves with the fringe or whatever's going on is attached to the dress or if that's an accessory. But kudos to her for keeping them on all night if they aren't attached. Are these a new accessory, like arm oh. curtains? I've never seen bicep skirts before. 
before. Me neither. That is a that is a new accessory. Seems I've never like seen something before. Beyonce would wear and start, but no, it's Taraji P Henson doing that. Yeah, you go, girl. Whoa, Nicole Kidman. She genuinely looks like an old timey Barbie. Ooh. You know, <gasps> I like this so much. This is weird and horrible and amazing at the same time. I don't know. Okay, I love Nicole Kidman, <laughs> and this might be my favorite look on her, even though this is a dress if I saw on a hanger, I never would go for in my life. Nicole Kidman looks stunning. I don't even know what other word to use. Yeah, this is amazing. This is such a cool dress too. Very like modern, like, I don't know, man. There's a lot of like cool vibes at the Oscars It's like tonight. a gift yeah, for all of us. <laughs> that's, I can't even say anything, that was perfect. There's like so much architecture to this dress. Like this dress isn't about like the fine detail. It's really about just like the shape, the it's shape. beautiful. I have no <laughs> words. This dress is amazing. She looks like a real life Barbie doll. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen anything like this. Like this is a show stopper. She is easily my best dress, Nicole Kidman. Rita Moreno, one of 12 EGOTs in the world. This woman is, is a hero to Hispanic women. Okay, do you know the story behind Rita Moreno's dress? No, I don't. So no way. she actually wore this dress when she accepted her Oscar for West Side Story in the 60s. This exact wow. dress. Maria, I just met a girl named Maria. And I want to meet all the people hiding under her dress. Rita Moreno looks better than all of us. I would like to point out a little coincidence here that Jocelyn is also wearing a dress from her dress. I am basically <laughs> the Rita Moreno of Clever because I'm wearing a dress I wore to the winter formal in 10th grade. You know what, it just goes to show you like never throw anything Thing away. Even if like 75 years pass, keep them. Also keep every piece of paper and gum wrapper. Keep it all. Who's your best dress, Lil? I think I'm gonna have to go with either J-Lo or Gina Rodriguez. Ooh, tough choice. Who also happen to be two of my favorite people. Oh, well, what a quickie. I know. That's crazy. What about you? Definitely choosing Adam Rippon oh. because he made a bold statement. Very bold. And I'm just here for everything he's into. My favorite look of tonight is definitely Taraji's dress because mm. I think it was so sexy, mm -hmm. but fancy and perfect for the Oscars. It made a statement, but it was classic, just like a long black dress. Mm. Hashtag me too. Yeah, and I want to borrow it. So if you could just text me, call me. Yeah, and my <laughs> favorite is the national treasure of Rita Moreno. Because if you can still fit a dress you wore like a thousand years ago, you win. You definitely win dirty laundry. Hey Lauren, what's your favorite outfit of the night? Nicole Kidman, hands down, unforgettable I dress. I gotta tell you something, that's mine too. Ugh, can't blame you. I you have, have a great it. taste. That blue, it's so electric, it looks like a new crayon color. Oh yeah, Serlene. Okay, my favorite, Sinead, was Chadwick Boseman. I mean, Ooh. Black Panther yeah. looked amazing and he's stunned. I loved it, I loved that outfit, but I also have a guy for my pick, it's Daniel Kaluuya. I just feel like the guys really nailed the suit this year by making it yeah. so different. And I really appreciate a little bit of pop of color. And also Daniel Kaluuya is amazing and I love him, so, you know. Okay, Aaron, best dress of the night. Three, two, one. Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Kidman. Oh my God, this dress. It's like, who cares about shape of water? We're all talking about the shape of Nicole Kidman's dress. This, this dress is... makes you feel something. Ugh. You are dead until you see this dress and all of a sudden she's breathed life into this flabby body of mine. Also the close second is Jennifer Lawrence. Don't have a flabby body. Jennifer Lawrence is not a close no, second. Gina is. Rodriguez is number two. No, for sure. Jennifer Lawrence, then Gina. Well, Jocelyn, that was a lot of fashion. It was a lot of fashion, but what do we know? We want to hear from you all. So hit the comment section and let us know who had your favorite fashion. Besides us. Obviously. Also subscribe so we can keep bringing you more episodes all the time. Thank you for watching Dirty Laundry. Goodbye. For even more Clever Style Oscars coverage, click to the left because we opened the $100,000 Oscar gift bag on Beauty Break or click to the right to see the best moments from the Oscars.